Hey guys, I'm Jay, and today I have something a little bit different for you. This is going to be a contrast video where we're going to look at the differences of the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 left-handed version and the right-handed one. But first, I just want to quickly remind you guys that I know that you're really busy, so click on subscribe so you can get knife reviews that get right to the point. I want to start things off by first looking at the aesthetic differences and then we will move on to the functional changes of the uh, PM2. Now the Spyderco PM2 is a crazy popular knife, so it only makes sense that they make a left-handed version for individuals like myself. The left-handed PM2 has the satin blade and is going to appear on the left side of your screen. The right-handed version has the black DLC blade and is going to be on the right side for the duration of this video. Let's first look at the left-handed version, which I'm going to I like to call the the correct one. Now, the maker's mark both maker's marks and the manufacturing location, if you notice, appear on the left side of the blade now with this correct model, and the Spyderco logo and the blade steel type appear now on the right side, whereas on this wrong one here, logo CPM S30V on the left with the Sal and Eric's maker's marks, and of course, Golden Colorado, USA Earth, the manufacturing facility, appear on the right side. So what that means is that Spyderco, what they did was also, they switched around the, the show side of the knife. Because here on the wrong one, you of course, the, the show side is on the left. What they did with the left-handed version is now the show side is on the, the right side. So I've got to say that I really, really do appreciate the heck out of Spyderco for actually creating a left-handed version of a knife. Not too many manufacturers do that. In fact, I can only think of one other company, and that being the uh, Kaiser with the Kaiser Gemini, designed by Ray Laconico. Now, I do not own that knife, so I'm going to use my Viper Vox Fortis here for this demonstration. Now, with the left-handed version of the Gemini, the frame lock appears on the right side, which, as a lefty, that would really be kind of weird for me, because there are no other knives that offer that kind of configuration, so my muscle memory, you know, I just naturally would move the frame lock to the left. Moving that to the right, I don't know, that would almost be just a little bit inconvenient because, so what, I'm going to have just the one left-handed frame lock and all of the other frame locks are on the other side, that just doesn't make much sense to me, at least with the Spyderco PM2, now it's a compression lock. So this lock is different from any other lock out there. So the change here really isn't all that confusing for me because this is a different kind of lock to begin with. This is a very familiar type of lock, so for it to get changed around, that would not be any more convenient, for me at least. I don't know, maybe I'd like to hear from some of you other lefties out there. Would, would uh, you know, our left-handed uh, frame lock knives, is that something that would be easier for you to actuate? Let me know in the comments section below. Now let's move on to the most important change difference being the compression lock itself. So on the left-handed version, the correct one here, as you can see, take my index finger, push the compression lock to the right side 
to go ahead and disengage that. Now I can use the the right-handed version, although it's a little dangerous because really all I'm holding on to is just the one side of the scale with the uh, compression lock tab and then squeezing it to close. So I really do not have that good of a grip when I'm closing this knife, which I have dropped it, well, let's just say more than a few times uh, because I don't have that good of a grip on the knife. On the lefty one, I'm able to, well, just hold it as any of you would, except in my left hand. So no problems there whatsoever. And I wanna show you this difference as well. See if you guys can see the strike plate now. So the strike plate where the compression lock actually makes contact with the blade. If you can notice here on the lefty version, it kind of slopes off, slopes down to the, well, let's just say it slopes to the right here. And on the, on the right-handed version, you can see the strike plate kind of slopes to the right because what I was actually considering is purchasing another uh, PM2, uh, let's say like the S110V blade, for example. And I thought what I could maybe do is put that blade on here. Well, no, I can't for that reason that I just showed you because of the direction that that strike plate is sloping off to. So you see it here, and then I'll show it here on the righty one. So, yes. So if you're a left-handed person and you're thinking that, oh, I know, I can build my own PM2 and put the blade that I want, you can't, you can't do it because of that strike plate. So that is kind of actually, well, more than a little frustrating for me because I really, really wanted the PM2, the version with the black, blade and the uh, digital camouflage. But unfortunately, the left-handed one only comes with the black G10 handle and the satin blade. So, you know, I don't mean to sound like I'm looking a gift, gift horse in the mouth because I really do appreciate the lefty PM2. But I just want to say it would be nice to have some options because this is all that I can get. Before we go, I would like to leave you guys with a question. Do, do any of you know of any other uh, left-handed knives, any other manufacturers that make left-handed knives? Uh, please you know, respond in the comment section below. I would love to hear your answers because so far, all I know of is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 and the Kaiser Gemini, that's it. So let me know if there's any other left-handed knives that you guys know of. So if this video regarding the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 left-handed version versus the right-handed one, if this answered most of your questions, why not just go ahead and leave a like. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by and letting me talk knives with you. And I will see you guys at the next video. You guys take care, okay?